I'm here with artist Jackie Trudy, and Jackie is absolutely famous in the jewelry industry for working with silver clay. Welcome, Jackie. Thank you very much for having me again. How long have you been working with this stuff? Over 17 years. That's amazing. Yeah, it's been a very long road and a very long time, and I've loved every minute of it. Well, it seems like you just keep coming up with different ideas. I remember one season you were here doing filigree, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. And now you have a completely new idea for us. This is something that's very different, and it uses a different product. Most people, when you say metal clay, they're used to seeing the clay part of it. Um, but this is a particular product to art clay silver, and it is called overlay paste. So you can make trays, you can make bowls, you can add silver to almost anything. Okay, well how do we get started? First you get a mold. And uh, I tried to find the smallest I could for the camera, but um, I've done big trays and uh, slumped all kinds of things. And this is a mold that has a particular area that you can see is flat here and flat here, but it goes in like this. So when you pick your design, you've got to remember that you don't want to put a design where the glass is going to get stretched. You only want to put it on the flat surfaces. So what I did was just go online and look in books and find a design that fit on the piece on the mold. Okay. And then you have to prepare the mold and otherwise the glass will stick to it because it's oh. a ceramic mold. So there are two things we can use to prepare the mold so the glass won't stick. One is a wash where you mix a powder with some water and then you use a really, really soft brush that won't leave marks. Okay. And you just Put it on, let it dry, go the other way, and it's and you put about 10 layers on. Oh, wow, it takes okay. quite a long that time a to dry. Then there's the easy way, but it's more expensive, and it's a spray, and it has boron nitride in it. That's the active ingredient. And when you spray that on the mold uh, and let it dry, it prevents anything from sticking to it. Okay. So um, I have done this mold already, and um, once the mold is prepared, then you're all set to go on preparing your glass. Okay. Okay, so now that my mold is prepared, I cut a piece of glass that will just fit the mold. You don't wanna make it too big because it will, it might, um, when it gets hot, might slope over the edges and get caught and then break. And you don't wanna make it too small because it'll pull in and then it'll be too small. So now I have, the glass and I've cleaned it with soap and water so that I've gotten all fingerprints off of it. And to prepare it, there are many ways you can put overlay paste on. You really can just get a paintbrush and paint it on, but it's better if it's thin layers. So the better way to do it is scraffito, which means in Italian to scratch away. So we're going to do that technique. And okay. to do that, we're actually going to put an entire layer of the dilute overlay paste over the top of this glass. So to do that, we're going to take a little bit of the overlay paste and we're gonna put it in the lid. That's the best way to do it. Okay, then I've got a little dropper here that's going to dilute it because it's gotta be the consistency of cream. You can't use it thick. If when you paint it on, it looks like acrylic, like you're painting a wall, it's too thick. And the reason you don't want that is when you go to scratch it away, if it's too thick, it will chip. You want it just to scratch really easily. So what you do is you just take this and you can, it's almost translucent. And if it does want to resist you, some glasses for some reason just want to beat up. I have no idea why, some don't. You just go over it. So the whole piece will look, stop that, <laughs> will look like that. You don't want, and you can see where it's almost translucent. translucent. You don't want it to be opaque. Okay, and how long does it take for this to dry? Well, if you put it, a hair blower on it, it'll take a couple of minutes. If you leave it out, um, it'll take you know, 10, 15 minutes. Okay. It's gotta be dry. So you just continue this whole business. Okay. And then when it's done, it looks like that. 
So all this is, is that dried layer of overlay paste on it. And you can see that I got some a little on here, which we'll clean off later. But right now it's ready to transfer the design on. All right. And the way you do that is to get a piece of, do you remember carbon paper? Yes, I do. Okay. In the old days, you know, we used I to know. use this stuff. I remember. And you, get, you can still buy it. So you get a sheet of carbon paper and you cut it to size to make sure that uh, the design will fit on it. And then you take your design and remember the design is going to come in a little bit, but that's perfect because you don't want it right on the outside edge. So I am going to take this and match this right to the edge like that. Then I'm gonna take a piece of tape and you can just take your time, you don't wanna rush it. You wanna get it right even and you wanna put the tape on the white. You never wanna put the tape on the black because that's what you're gonna transfer and uh, tape will impede the transfer. And I'm also taping it to this underlay so that the whole thing doesn't move. And you could do any design you want to do. Any design, any design. You just have to remember that you're scratching away what you don't want. So it's negative space. It's negative space. And if you do two little things, then you're going to have everything all okay. taken off. So uh, I'm going to do this with a pencil. And all you do is trace the design. And it doesn't even have to be exact because when you scratch, you can fix whatever mistakes you've made in transferring. And if you press firmly but don't dig, then you will um, transfer the design but not interrupt the actual overlay paste because you don't want to do that. So I've learned um, to use a pencil so you know where you've been. Because if you've ever tried to trace something and you try and you do it again, you get like a double image and you don't want that. So you go around and when you're finished with this, you take this off and flip it over here, okay, so that you've got it on both sides. Okay. And then this just goes in the middle, and you do the same thing with this. All right. Okay. Got it. Just finish this here, and then we'll show. So you take this out. Oh, and of course, and when you put your, um, your carbon paper down, you have to make sure you don't put it upside down. Otherwise. Right, carbon side down. Yeah, carbon side down. Okay. And when you take this away, see you have the design that's transferred. Nice. And when you do it correctly, it becomes this. And I'm not worried about these pieces that didn't take because they're gonna get scratched away anyway. Okay. So the best tool I've found is not a toothpick because the wood is too soft and it tends to fray and break, but these are uh, bamboo skewers. Oh, okay. And when, if this gets dull, you can always just take a knife and just sharpen it up again because all you're doing is scratching away a very, very thin layer. So what you do is you go on the outside of the black line and you can see that there's dust coming up. This is good. You don't want chipping. If it starts chipping, remember that means that you've done it too uh, thick. You've put on your overlay paste too thick. So what I normally do is do one piece, one little area at a time, but you have to remember, you're not scratching that away. You're scratching all this away. And you can even go on the side and get on the larger area. Okay, but I have been taught to reserve my clay. So that yes. is freaking me out right now. Yes, so this is a dust brush. And what I'm gonna do is take this and put it over here. And you can save all of this. And at the end, put it right back in your overlay no paste. No kidding. Oh yeah, yeah, there's no waste. There's never waste with our clay. So we're going to just keep doing that until the entire thing is scratched away. And you can always keep this by in your sight so that you can remember. Which, which part you're which scratching. Which part you're scratching. If you screw up, all you have to do is take a little more of this and just fix it. So oh, it's okay. real easy. So this, then, when you're done, and you go, you know, take your time, you get into your little zen mode, um, that becomes this. And I've scratched away everything, 
but the overlay. So now... That took a while. That took a while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you can't get a lot of disturbances. It's not something you want to do while you're watching television, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Now Focus. I've got some alcohol here. No, not. It's 91%. You can't use alcohol that has stuff in it, cleaners, because it'll put a resist on your glass. So um, what I do, and you've always got little bits, the dust of the overlay paste it always gets everywhere, so you go around. And, and it won't hurt it if you touch the clay? Well, it will, which so is... be careful. Be careful. Do okay. not touch the clay. Even though it's not water, mm -hmm. it will still uh, take it off, which you can see because I'm taking it off of the sides. People forget that the clay happens on the sides, too. It goes tends to go over. Okay. So you have to make sure you clean all that off all the way around. So you want to clean that up? You want to make sure you've cleaned it up. And okay. clean it with uh, pure alcohol, 91%, not that 70% that they have out there. Oh, okay. So now I'm really done. All I need to do is get my mold that's been prepared, set this in as much the middle as you possibly can, and then put it in the kiln. You set the kiln to ramp at 1,000 degrees an hour, up to 1,350 degrees Fahrenheit, and you hold it for 30 minutes. Okay. Then you let the kiln just cool. I'll put it in there. All right. And we're gonna have the complete instructions online so people can check it out. So we'll stick that in there. And let's take a look at the finished one. These are cool, Jackie. Yeah, they really are. Thank you so much. You're